Hi there and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Our teams tonight are Boyne City and Sheboygan, so don't go away. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss-up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. With us tonight, students from Sheboygan and Boyne City High Schools. Nice to have them here. They are two of 48 teams competing again this season. The Quiz Central teams are divided into four divisions based on school size. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will be this season's overall winner. They are vying for scholarships from Central Michigan University, and Rick Westover has more on that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, thanks, Rick. We will get to uh, meet our contestants in just a minute, but let's get the action underway with the maroon and gold round. Teams, you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There's no talking among team members, and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Here's your first question. The water key is the formal name for what part of a brass instrument that restores sound quality by draining condensed moisture and saliva. Eden, Sheboygan. The spit valve. That's right. Mothballs and dry ice both undergo what process in which a substance changes directly from a solid to a gas without Eden, Sheboygan. Um, sublimation. That's right. What politician who co-names a 2002 campaign finance law with Russ Feingold ran with Sarah Palin as the Republican presidential nominee in 2008? Elizabeth Sheboygan. Mitt Romney? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Boyne City. We'll get you an answer in just a moment, and then you will know. The cover of what 1969 Beatles album features the band walking across a pedestrian crossing in single file? Elizabeth Sheboygan. Abbey Road. That's right. James Lind showed that giving sailors what compound, which is also called ascorbic acid and is found in lemons and limes, could prevent scurvy? Vitamin C. Luke? Sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. Vitamin C. That is correct. In 2017, what state closed a tent city that former Sheriff Joe Arpaio set up to hold prisoners? Next question. During what holidays do children ask the four questions during a Seder which commemorates the exodus of Jews from Egypt? Your next question. What man who served as Secretary of State during the Civil War was nearly assassinated by Lewis Powell in 1865? <laughs> Moving on. What book, which includes chapters on economy and where I lived and what I lived for, is a memoir of life near the Tidal Pond by Henry David Thoreau? Eden, Sheboygan. Um, Walden. That's right. Thomas Coons. That takes us to the end of the round there. All right. Sheboygan jumps out to a 50-point lead, so a nice job there. Some of the questions that were missed, uh, the state that closed a tent city was in Arizona. The holiday is Passover. Secretary of State during the Civil War was William Seward. And the Republican presidential nominee in 2008 was John McCain. All right, so again, we have a 50 to nothing score right now in favor of Sheboygan, and let's get to know our contestants a little bit better. We'll go to Boyne City first, and Lydia. Hi, I'm Lydia, I'm from Boyne City. I'm a sophomore and I run cross country and play soccer. Hi, I'm Reagan, I'm a senior at Boyne City. I play basketball and I run cross country and track. 
I'm Claire, I'm from Boyne City, I'm a senior, and I do theater and band. Hi, I'm Riley, I'm a senior at Boyne City, and I run cross country and play soccer. All right, nice to have you here. Boyne City's alternate, uh, alternates are Jackson Menard and Esmond Santiago. They are coached by Nick McLean and Christopher Herman. Let's give them a nice round of applause. All right, and now to the team from Sheboygan. Hi there, Luke. I'm Luke, I'm a sophomore at Sheboygan. I'm on student council and run cross country. Hi, I'm Adam, I'm a sophomore at Sheboygan and I'm in the choir. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm Play soccer and cross country. Hi, I'm Eden. I'm a senior at Sheboygan High School. I do the musical and I am in track. All right, always nice to have you here as well. The alternates for Sheboygan are Luke Lyons and Victoria West. Their coach is Dave Hines. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And with that, we move back into the action with the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers the toss-up question will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus questions. Captains, remember the answers must come from you unless you defer to a colleague on the bonus questions. Here is your first toss-up question of the game. Thomas Kuhn's The Structure of Scientific Revolution describes shifts between what sets of basic scientific concepts and experimental practices? The correct answer is paradigms. What mathematician whose dissertation was an incomplete proof of the fundamental theorem of algebra is also the namesake of the normal distribution? And that was Gauss, Carl Friedrich Gauss. In what Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale is Rudy's life claimed by the kisses of the supernatural title character before he can marry Babette? Elizabeth, Boyne City. Me? Excuse me, Sheboygan, <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. Uh, is it a siren? No, nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Boyne City. Nope, the Ice Maiden, the Ice Maiden. All right, another toss-up question. What shape formed when a circle undergoes a full revolution about an axis is approximated by donuts and life preservers? It's a tough one. Sorry, rang in a little late. Taurus was the actual answer. And there will be a quiz on all of this afterwards, so pay attention. What organization, which is led by a seven-person board of governors that is chaired by Jerome Powell, is the U.S.'s central banking system? Elizabeth Sheboygan? The Fed. Yep, that is correct. All right, here's your first bonus. From 1876 to 1886, what Apache leader broke out of reservations three times before surrendering near the U.S.-Mexico border? Oh. It's bull something. It's bull. I don't know. It's like, uh... Need an answer? It is. Mm. It's, uh... Answer, please. Um, um, defer to Luke. Oh, don't you have I had an idea. About All right, a little too much time there. Yeah. Geronimo was the correct oh. answer. Okay, a simple pendulum's period goes as the square root of its length over what value, which multiplies mass to give weight, and which is denoted little g? Reagan, Boyne City. Gravity. Uh, yes, uh, well, actually, I need to prompt you on gravity. The absolute value of gravity? I'm sorry, it's gravitational acceleration. Both teams. What man's cry of alarm travels to every Middlesex village and farm in a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow about his April 1775 midnight ride? Eden Sheboygan. Paul Revere. Right, here's a bonus. A body in circular motion must feel what type of force that points towards the center of rotation, unlike the similarly named centrifugal force. Centrifugal. 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 Or defer, so you don't have to say it. Answer? Centrifugal force? Nope, I'm sorry. Centripetal force is the correct answer. Both teams on a toss-up. What senator who renounced his Canadian citizenship in 2014 narrowly defeated Democrat Beto O'Rourke during his 2018 re-election campaign in Texas? That's Ted Cruz. <laughs> Poet Dylan Thomas claimed wise men are at, the end, uh, at their end, no dark is right, in what poem that repeats the line, rage, rage against the dying of the light? 
Your answer, do not go <coughs> gentle into that good night. And that brings us to the end of our round right there. We are going to take a break, allow the teams to regroup just a little bit, and when we come back, we'll play the perfect 10, so don't go away. I took astronomy from Carl Sagan in 1977. The guy had a huge influence on me. Cosmos on PBS was Carl Sagan's lectures with fabulous graphics. Bill Nye, the science guy. PBS and I are perfect match. It's just wonderful programming, not just for kids, but for all of us. Carry on, carry on. Oh my God. Don't you people have school to work on? Today, children have more ways to learn and grow than ever before. But in rural areas of our country, millions don't have access to high-speed internet. For these families, television is often their only source of educational programming. The new PBS Kids 24-7 channel is available for those who need it most, providing content that's proven to build important skills for every child. All right, welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 round. The Perfect 10 gives the teams 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from their choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked, missed, or passed questions. Sheboygan has the lead, so Boeing City will go first. Your clues to the categories are Just Park It, Our Princess is in Another Castle, and Ballot Box. Just park it. Our princess is in another castle and ballot box. Which one are you going to choose? The princess one. The princess. Okay. And video game villains is the actual category. Given the name of a video game villain, name the series in which they primarily appear. Ganondorf or Ganon? Oh, we pass. Dude, can we say pass? Uh, yes, say pass. Okay. Yes. Pass. Yeah, Dr. Eggman, also called Dr. Robotnik. Pass. Pass. Okay. Albert Wesker. Pass. Pass. All right. Uh, Gladys. Pass. Sarah Kerrigan. <laughs> Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley. Uh, no? <laughs> Master Hand? Oh. Um, no, has, uh, this is perfect. Oh, Ten answer Claire. comes oh, from Claire. Tell Claire. Um, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. No, that's what? not right. <laughs> Show. All right. All right, Sheboygan, are you ready? We have 30 seconds for you here. Given the name of a video game villain, name the series in which they primarily appear. Ganondorf or Ganon. Legend of Zelda. Right. Dr. Eggman, also called Dr. Robotnik. Sonic. Sonic. That's right. Albert Wesker. I'm pretty sure Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Right. Gladys. Mm. Right. Portal. Right. Oh, Sarah Kerrigan. I want to say Tomb Raider, but I don't know if that's right. Tomb Raider. Nope. Mm. Dr. Wiley. <sighs> Mm. Oh, Mega Man, Mega Man, what? Mega Man. Mega Man. Right. Master Hand. Ah, oh, shoot. We're mm. out of time. Master Hand was Super Smash Brothers. Okay. The answer that I needed underlined here was Super Smash Brothers. Okay. <laughs> so that's according to our, our official rundown here. Um, Sarah Kerrigan is StarCraft. Um, the Shao Kahn is Mortal Kombat. And I don't even think we got to the other ones there. So, okay. So Sheboygan still 120, Boyne City zero. And Sheboygan, now you get a chance to collect for, or select from the remaining categories. And those are Just Park It and Ballot Box. Which one would you like? Ballot Box sounds like it's political and we never do well with that. Yeah, I think Park It. Okay. Just oh, yeah. park it. All right, National Parks is your category. In what state are these national parks located? Yosemite. California. Right. Acadia. Maine. Right. Badlands. South, South Dakota. Uh-huh. Glacier. Uh, Alaska. Nope. Zion. Pat. No. 
Mm -hmm. uh, pass. Why am I even answering? Yeah, pass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mammoth Cave. Oh, that's a, that's 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 Tennessee. Yeah. Tennessee. Nope. Oh, damn. Denali. Pass. Pass. Carlsberg Caverns. That might be Tennessee. Tennessee. Nope. <laughs> Mount Rainier. Mm, Washington. Okay, I'm taking that as no answer. <laughs> and then Shenandoah. Oh. Virginia. Virginia. That's right. Okay. You know, like, All right. <laughs> Boeing City, here you go. In what state are these national parks located? Glacier. Montana. Montana. Right. Zion. Um, California. Nope. nope. Mammoth Cave. South Dakota. South Dakota. Nope. Denali. Uh, North Dakota. Alaska. Right. Carlsberg, uh, Carlsbad Caverns. Car uh, <laughs> Pennsylvania. No, and Mount Rainier. Colorado. Colorado. Sorry, incorrect. Okay. <laughs> Washington was the right answer. All right, Carlsberg Caverns is in New Mexico, Mammoth Cave is in Kentucky, and Zion National Park is in Utah. So, we, uh, by Boyne City has gotten on the board here. We have a score of 160 to 20, and we move on with the game and our home stretch round. Like round two, the home stretch is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask a toss-up question. The team that answers correctly will be asked one bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Your first toss-up question is, the siege of Sevastopol occurred in what war in which Florence Nightingale aided Adam Sheboygan? The Crimean War. That's correct, and here's your bonus. What surname is shared by the man who said the lamps are going out all over Europe during World War I and an earl who was British, uh, British's PM in the 1830s? British Prime Minister Roger. Roger. Answer, please. Bush. Nope, it was gray. Mm -hmm. All right, both teams, Rock Creek and Antietam Creek, are tributaries of what river that forms the border between Maryland and Virginia and flows through Washington, D.C.? Uh, Luke Sheboygan. Potomac. That's right. Here is another bonus. Okay. What Central American nation, which disputes the San Juan River with Nicaragua, has its capital at San Jose? Again? It's the sod in Spanish class, guys. Isn't it? Um, San Jose... Need an answer? Need an answer. Uh, Guatemala. No, Costa Rica. Oh. All right, now both teams Sorry. can play. What book in which a cage full of hungry rats is used in room 101 to torture dissident Winston Smith is a dystopian novel by George Orwell, Adam Sheboygan. 1984. Right, and another bonus. What biblical disciple doubted Jesus' resurrection Thomas, Thomas, and Thomas. asked to see proof? Thomas. That's right. Both teams. What highly viscous region of Earth's upper mantle lies between the lithosphere and has a name from the Greek for weak? I'm sorry, this is a bonus. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah? Is it the stratosphere? Uh, no, that's is that not what it's asking core. for? It's core. No, it's core. Well, the answer? There's the mantle no. in the middle. Just answer. Yeah. Stratosphere. Uh, I'm sorry? Stratosphere. No, it's the asthenosphere. Both teams play on a toss-up. The U.S.'s increased involvement in Vietnam in the 1960s was led by what man, who was Secretary of Defense under John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson? And that person is Robert McNamara. What NFL quarterback, who in 2019 filed a trademark for his nickname and is the league's oldest non-kicker, has won six titles with New England? Lydia, Boyne City. Tom Brady. That's right. Here's your bonus. What painting technique creates larger images out of tiny dots of color? Answer? Surratt. No, pointillism. Okay. <laughs> okay. What president, whose first term involved the so-called Travelgate scandal, was subsequently investigated over his relationship with Monica Lewinsky? Uh, Luke Sheboygan. Bill Clinton. That's right, and a bonus. What city is the seat of government of Bolivia and is, by elevation, the highest capital city in the world? Uh, Bolivia. Super, 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 super. 
Yeah. Well, but they have two. They have the cultural answer. And the answer. Answer. La Paz. That's right. All right, both teams. The Crown of Thorns was rescued from an April 2019 fire in what Gothic cathedral, whose bells were rung by Quasimodo in a not. Go ahead, Elizabeth Sheboygan. What is Notre Dame? That's right, and here is a bonus. The first law of thermodynamics demonstrates what principle, stating that a namesake quantity measured in joules cannot be created or destroyed. Oh, it's energy. Energy. Yes, that is correct. All right, both teams will take a little bit of a break here. We have a score of Sheboygan 240 and Boyne City 30. We will take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll play the final countdown, so don't go away. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters, Antiques Roadshow, Nature, Nova, Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, this is it, the Quiz Central final countdown. It's another two minute rapid fire round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Your first question. Jack Prolutsky wrote that last night he dreamed of what birds that are beside the title red a wheelbarrow of a William Carlos Williams poem. Ooh, go ahead, Reagan, Boyne City. Crows. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Sheboygan, you get a shot. All right, we'll find out in a moment. What painting in which a bird is barely visible between a bull and a writhing horse is a grayscale mural depicting a bombing by Pablo Picasso? Next question. Gracie Mansion is the official residence of what U.S. city's mayor, a position once held by David Dinkins and Michael Bloomberg? Luke Sheboygan. New York. That's right. What action, which a two-thirds vote in each House of Congress can override, means I forbid in Latin and allows a president to reject a bill? Elizabeth Sheboygan. Veto. That's right. What country, which would be north of the proposed Salwa Canal, is home to the headquarters of the Al Jazeera and will host the 2022 FIFA World Cup? Adam Sheboygan. Cutter. You are right, yes. The 19th century author depicted the title character's rise from poverty in, raggedy, in Ragged Dick, which was one of the country's, or one of his many rags to riches novels. Next question. Adam Lambert gives Ellen DeGeneres a tattoo in the video for what song in which Taylor Swift sings, you need to just stop and you're being too loud. Lydia, Boyne City. You need to calm down. That's right. <laughs> Matthew Reese and Carrie Russell starred in what FX drama about Russian spies living in the U.S., whose final season aired in 2018? Next question. What noble gas, which acts as a neutron absorber in nuclear reactors, is the heaviest one with a stable isotope? And that's the end of the game there. All right. Sheboygan holds on to win 270 to 40. Let's give him a nice round of applause. <laughs> the uh, questions that were missed, uh, let's see. The FX drama was The Americans. The 19th century author would be Horatio Alger. And the painting was uh, Guernica. Guernica, but a good game by both teams. We'd like to thank you for meeting here in Mount Pleasant in our studios. Let's give them both a nice round of applause. And that does it for this edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for tuning in.
Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.